still power. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Land's End. We've made it to the end of I was going to say the earth, but it's, it's not, not the earth, is the it? Earth. England. No, maybe mm -hmm. once upon a time they believed it was the end of the earth, but now it's just the end of yeah, England, the UK, the entrance and exit. Yeah, my first time here. You've been here before, haven't you? Well, I used to live in Cornwall, so we, we've explored. Yeah, we're going to show you around. It's very windy, so we're probably not going to talk much. Six hour queue to get a picture with it. Another money maker. I'm a little bit surprised to see um, that you can go on Arthur's Quest or Wallace and Gromit at Land's End. It surprises me a little bit. It's a natural beauty. Hmm. It's that time of day. And you just sit back and do nothing. Yeah. And I have food made for me. And we've got some potatoes and some eggs and some nice things going in an omelette, right? Yeah. We're going to do some roast potatoes and then a nice cheesy omelette with all the trimmings. There we go. And then brownies and an ice cream for, for dessert. And tonight we found a free spot. Nothing special. It's just a lay by. Fun oh. life. You ready? It looks good. Where's your pants, babe? <laughs> what was that line you said? Free the vag. Woo! Girl power. <laughs> it's brownie time. We've actually made brownies in our own oven. Oh, yeah. We've actually made a plan to make brownies and then stuck to it and have movie night. Who we got? Who we got? Bridget Jones. So I think that's that's us for tonight. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. It's still bloody windy. Senon Cove. Where? Senon Cove. Where is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is another one of them places that just doesn't feel like you're in the UK anymore. Look at that coastline. Oh. Which direction is you going to get from it? Good spot. Yeah. We're both feeling a bit, a bit groggy, aren't we? Yeah, a bit groggy and a bit tired today. I don't think we slept very well last night, even no. though it felt like we did. So we've decided to remedy it. Um, it's a pasty. Pasty kind of day. And then that's where we've parked a D. And not isn't it? <laughs> behind the behind the woman. So pasty kind of day on the bed, doors open, enjoy the view. Chill. I'm gonna read. Nap. Book. I'm probably gonna nap. So exciting day. Um, nap. I know you'd be shocked. I know I don't do it often. Um, don't worry, we'll be there in a minute. There we go. That was easy. Told Thanks. you. Less than a minute. Where are you? Which one are you getting? Chicken and veg. Which one are you going for? Same. Same. Yeah. Two of them. You're gonna get two. Or should we have a cheese and veg? Usually go for something different. Should yeah. we have half and half? Yeah, I'll go on there. I'll have half and half. Let's do it. Chicken 
and veg and one cheese and veg. Yeah. Cut in half. Pardon? Cut in half. Cut in half. <laughs> Just like take a bite of each. But then how will we know which is half? You take bigger bites than me. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Little bites. <laughs> I told you everything, everything just for the camera. <laughs> How is it? I mean, you've got pastry so far. This is this Ooh, next take bite. A bite. Take a bite. You're gonna hate it. That means I'm gonna love it. I, I don't think you're gonna like this one. So if you just want to stick to your cheese one. Mine, mine's sensational. Oh, they must have decided not to share because oh, I'm really success. enjoying mine and Em's really enjoying hers and I've had a bite of hers, it's like great, this one's nice, cheesy. Cheers. Cheers. Then has that tickled the itch? It has, I'm full now. Completely full? Yeah. Can't squeeze Still another bite in. No, we'll have even left a bit of crust. Yeah. I'm done, I am done. Yeah. It was lovely. I Recommend. Know, once, once you're done as well, you're done, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Ice cream. Oh, I've got a completely different belly for that. Absolutely, ice cream. Two scoops and a flake. Yeah. Off she pops, back for an ice cream. Surprised she hadn't pushed that woman out of the way. Uh, Smile, she's in her element, look. I can't believe you've not got one. Yeah. Letting the side down. I'm having a coffee. You're not having a lick. I can't believe how blue it is. It's super blue, isn't it? Ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen see that blue in the UK. Not in England, no. Yeah. No. You can see it so clear as well, you can see all the rocks. It's shallow, but. Point to where we were parked. Uh, don't actually know. Behind the hill? Maybe. Well, up the hill. Up, up the mountain Yay. and behind it. It's fine, I've got loads of energy. She's on one lot now. Ice cream. It's, fine. it's a completely change of demeanour. Yeah, just you wait. I'm waiting. Wait for what? Hey, still loving life? Yeah. Yeah? Are we there yet? Come on, a bit of honesty. I'm burning. A bit of honesty. My calves burn. Your lungs burning. Lungs are hurting a bit. From the exercise. Yeah. It's a bit hot. Looks, yeah, it's a good view this though. A from... What of me or? Uh, both. Okay, I'll take that. Both. I'll take that. Compliments. Thanks. How are you feeling? Shit. Hey. Hi. What did you say? Absolutely fine. What did you say before that? I heard another word. <gasps> hey. It might have been the crickets. Yeah. Swearing. No, no, no. Where'd all that energy gone? Oh, it's back, look. Just to the camera. Yeah, I have to get around the corner. Ten seconds later. Just sitting down to enjoy the view. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to join? No, I'm going to crack on. Okay. <laughs> Tackle this beast. <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. I've got loads of energy, just you wait, she said. Misread that one, didn't I? We found this really nice campsite that is perfect to look for the sunset. I'll show you around in a bit. But we've got here and just gone over to the tap to fill our water up and there's a big sign plastered over it saying no drinking water and we're a bit empty so what else do we do yes cheers look Daisy T to the rescue we've uh, google mapped it and found that there's a cost cutter a mile away so we're hoping 
it's a flat mile and not loads of hit hills. Um, but so we can come back and look for the sunset. I don't get it. <laughs> That's what you just said. So you can come back and look for the sunset. You just said a great spot to look for the sunset. I don't think I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. To look for the sunset. Bit more. So apparently I did say look for the sunset. I don't know what I meant. I'm pretty sure the sun's setting that way. It's generally in the same place every day, but sometimes you do have to have a little scout. Might be behind make a sure, hill. Make sure it's there. Yeah. I know um, what you meant. You meant in case there was like cloud coverage, you can't see it. I didn't even Sometimes remember saying it. Search for it. Um, she disputed it, but camera don't lie. So, quick sugar hit right. <laughs> before we go. I need some more wet wipes. My hands are filthy. I need mm. some gloves to put Daisy tea together. It's a little trick. Uh, that we've learnt. I've got oil on my hands and it's not coming off with these We've not ancient, it. You've ancient just... wet wipes. Just, I said I learnt it. Have you? No, but I'm making <laughs> exactly. it up. Exactly. I'm just making it up for TV. So apparently Aaron reckons white, white wine. wine. Gets it off look. Mm. Yeah, I think you've got oily hands. Wait! Just because there's no drinking water, there's an actual sink over there. You can just go wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to put non-drinking water on my beautiful hands. hands. <laughs> Get me some soap. Though. <laughs> Let's go find some water. Woo! Yeah, that burned past us on his bike and he's been trying to electric bike. Is that what he's got? Like uh, he's probably him, not for any other reason. Cheat. Just because he's got electric motor. Well, there we go. Oh, look at that, we're back. What time is it? Four past seven, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And beautiful view. My legs don't really edge. No, I'm alright, my legs are fine. Oh, no, we're not talking about you now, we're talking about me. My glutes hurt a little bit. Oh, why? You, did a, you did a great job. We? Oh. Yeah, we. Oh, let's try it out. Look, she's just parked up over there. Staring longingly at M1 MG3. There she is, look. The new addition to the clan. Yeah. Wait, I'm trying to zoom. Can't zoom. Good morning. We're going to take you on a bit of a mine tour this morning. Don't know if you know this, but. Cornwall's famous for its tin mines. We're here at Batalic Mines. This is going to be the canniest tour you've ever seen. Is that a good tin joke? That's a good tin joke. I got it. You think you'll get it? I got it. Yeah. So if I got it, an eight year old will get it. <sighs> Way on. So I reckon it's just a guess that this was the engine house. And I think it was bought, uh, born or built in the 1720s. And, and I reckon. What accurate number? Just just looking at it, I think it closed around 1914. It's even more accurate than 1720s. 
that's just what I'm getting. Just what I'm getting from the building. It's my yeah, psychic can abilities. Feel it. The building's telling me. And it says that up there. No, no. Fact check. She's feeling the it. Brick's telling me that that one down there was uh, made in 1836. Is accurate. That's, and that's, that's what, what you get here, folks. You get Accuracy, good facts, solid information. Yeah, yeah. By feel. By feel. You right, Bob? The builder. <laughs> hey, where are we? We're in Giva Tin Mines. Or Giva, one or the other. We hadn't decided yet. We was hoping to see the beam engine. Turns out, pre-book only, and in. True stamp, tramper fashion. We don't pre-book. Pre-bookings for winners. I mean, losers. <laughs> What's this? What's going on here? It's a picking belt. Oh, what happened here? Women um, used to pick. Just women. Just women. Don't know why it's just women. Maybe just in World War Two, it was just women because oh, all the men were out fighting the war. Yeah, picking bits that they didn't want. And that's about as much as I know. And then, and then all the women then were re replaced by, by a magnet. <laughs> Actually, just grinding up the rocks. I'm so excited. We've been in Cornwall for ages. Why has it taken us this long to get a cream tea? No. For all I know, <laughs> we've done this on the first day. Okay, it's the first day. <laughs> we can, we can fit there with you. you. Can't see where we are. <laughs> it's fine. We'll fit this in anywhere. Look at that. You're having that one. So this is a, a traditional Cornish cream tea, which is made up of, you probably know, because you're probably from England, but yeah. well, for our international okay. viewers, okay. All if, three we, of you. if we have any, <laughs> it's made up of a scone, which I think you would call a biscuit in America, uh, with some jelly or, or jam. Jam. And uh, some clotted cream. There's a, there's a proper way to do it, whether you're in Cornwall or whether you're in Devon, which is just the county next door. Yeah, you're right and the wrong way. And uh, we do it the wrong way. Shh, we start a riot. <laughs> which way do you do it? We do it the Devonshire way. Yeah, so that, that is. is jam with a dollop of cream on top. So instead of the Cornish way, yeah, which is don't start a riot. What how do you do it? I do the jam on with the cream on top. Oh, that's the Cornish way. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. I know I don't. That's the Cornish no, way. No, because I said if I put the jam okay. on first, it's hard to put the cream on. No, I'm lying. I put the cream on first and then the jam because it's easy to spread on top of the cream. That's how often I have a scone. You didn't even know how you I didn't. Did I, it. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. That's the Cornish way anyway. <laughs> Uh, jam on the bottom, cream on top. But if you know anything about science or densities, then you'll know that. Put jam, please. That's how it should be done. Dollop of jam. No, it's not. This is the Devonshire way. This is. We're not. Okay, we would never done. tell anybody the way it should be done. Make your own choices in life. <laughs> you Don't decide. Be a sheep, then. You decide. But <laughs> 